head over to the Muskosh River and see if we can get some nice uh, video footage over there. the airplane secured on shore now and uh, it's tied up to a uh, fairly sturdy log that happens to be engulfed in poison ivy so be careful not to touch the poison ivy and uh, the first order of business is to trade in my bare feet and put my rattlesnake proof shoes on because this is prime rattlesnake country and uh, we may or may not see one, but uh, I'm gonna put my shoes on just to be safe. As I mentioned, this is the Musquash River. And Musquash is an Abenaki word meaning muskrat. And a muskrat is similar, but smaller than a beaver. It's a semi-aquatic rodent, but no flat tail. It's got a round tail. I'm gonna hike over there and, uh, and check that out. All right. Eyes open for rattlers, and away we go. If the, uh, if the blueberries are out yet, the bears won't be too far behind. And I'm not, I'm not seeing any blueberries yet. It might be a little bit early. Oh yeah, there's some uh, very immature blueberries, so they are not ready for the bears yet. Thank goodness. Oh, it's just beautiful. So the trail's leading out to what's known as Three Rock Falls and a uh, great swimming area. It's Friday afternoon right now, so by tomorrow afternoon, there'll be lots of people who will portage in here and will be swimming in the rapids, having a great time. Musquash River is uh, situated in west central Ontario in uh, the district of Muskoka. And the river accepts fresh water from uh, two other rivers, the uh, Moon River and the Gibson River. And then it passes through these falls, Three Rock Falls, which is the third set of falls as you come upstream. And then uh, down two smaller sets of rapids before it spills into Georgian Bay. And at the end of the 19th century, 
this was a big logging area. And there was a bustling little lumber town at the base of this uh, river called the Skoka Mills. And you can check out a song on Spotify by the artist Slade Cleaves called Breakfast in Hell. And it's about a doomed lumberjack who motivates his men to break up a log jam on the Musquash River in 1989. So you might want to check it out. It's a popular area for camping and canoeing and portaging. My kids have come up here many times. I've only been up here a few times, actually. Uh, there's some great fishing. There's actually um, sturgeon in the river here, at the base of the river. If you, uh, if you go snorkeling, you can actually see the sturgeon. But because they're a bottom feeder, they're not a typical fish that, uh, that would bite into a lure. Take you there